hello everybody and welcome again or if you're here for the first time well hello for the first time i'm big mama joe and today we're gonna have a look at the big tank um as you can hear maybe i have a little bit of a uh, uh, a cold <coughs> so i'm gonna see how talking goes without coughing <laughs> all right uh so this is the big tank this was the biggest part I could um, film because the tank is much larger than this is. But otherwise I had to be uh, too far away. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to do that. So they are waiting for food. I'm not going to hand feed today. So um, I will just throw in some food and we'll see what happens. But the only uh, thing is because... Um, of the many fish I have to feed a lot and after I feed the water will go murky but until then well let's enjoy this so in a previous video I was talking about some fish having their fins uh, be nibbled and at first I thought it was the big blue channel at the bottom but I found out it was somebody else and uh, as I also explained I think it is breeding time and that's when they get more dominant and will protect well their breeding space so when I was looking in the tank oh look at this Oscar <laughs> he wants some food look at the mouth he will if you could talk, what kind of voice would you have? No, please give me some food. Give me some food. <laughs> That's what I think. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I will throw in some later on. Um, on the right side of the tank, I saw a big pit a duck out. And, uh, well, there's a big, big cichlid in here. And he's... The big daddy, but there's no female for him. But he made a nest and he is biting everybody. We'll see how this goes and otherwise I have to replace him in another aquarium. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, uh, even though the fins are a little bit nibbled off, everybody looks not frightened. Oh, I'm going to throw in a fish. Look at this. One sees it. But missed, then the other two Oscars also see the fish, and they go for it. Go, go, go. <laughs> and this is when everybody gets alarmed that there is food coming up. Look at this. You see? And you see this, this big cichlid in the middle now? That's the one. He's the bully. And, uh, well, we'll see, as I showed you. On the, in the, on the bottom, you see a beautiful clown knife. Uh, all the jaguars are <laughs> getting in. And, um, uh, the Oscars, the tilapia, he's waiting for some mussels. And look at this, the clown knife. Is in in some action. These are crazy fish, though. But I love them. I and the that little fin, the dorsal fin. I I always think it's a little bit weird, but oh, well, guess they need them. And at the back, at the clown knife, there is this tire track eel. I love my eels, and the big um, fire eel you see in front. Let me see. So, <clears throat> oh, you see the big fire eel? He is huge. Oh, there's the tire track eel with the clown knife. Oh, they're fighting about. <laughs> oh, he stole his fish. He stole his fish. Come on, buddy. There's another fish in front of you. He will get it. So you can see the fins are nibbled off of the tilapia. There you go. He will shake his head. Yes, so he gets smaller pieces of the fish. 
Well, at least he got his own fish and the clown knife didn't steal this from this one from him. And uh, everybody will get a full belly. <coughs> Sorry again about my voice <coughs> and the coughing. But I didn't want to keep this video from you or wanted to let you wait uh, any longer. I also love the Chana. She's very large. And as you can see how large she is. And if you measure the other fish around her, the other fish are also very large. The Surinam Surinamensis, Geo uh, Geo Vegas, Geo Vegas. If I'm right, there are a lot of them, and uh, they were all babies, but uh, they're getting big. See the big fire eel, and there's oh well. There's some other fish in front of his nose. Ah, oh, the, the blue cichlid. It was one of our own fry, fry on the right. And uh, they really got big. But he's beautiful. And he's wearing his uh, war colors. His uh, stripes. <laughs> his striped tuxedo. I love the clown knives and the clown loach is also there but she is not eating fish so she's also looking for some mussels I think she will get one this eel you see over here he almost never gets out well I think and this is the spotted eel not the one on top that's a fire eel but he has spots but the one underneath him but he no he always um, wears his dark jacket and sometimes he wears his spots but the funny thing about fire eel his brother has stripes and he has spots so let's see <clears throat> bloop <laughs> he spit out the muscle but he is so big, but he is beautiful. Big bully. I also love the way Oscars uh, eat their fish like they are smoking a cigar or something. Love it. Everybody's in business. See some fish floating around. <clears throat> and because of the chewing and, you know, that's why the water gets murky. Because if they eat the fish whole and they don't chew and then nothing is going on. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. So, well, where is everybody? I can see. Ah, oh, it's too bad. The giant gourami on the right. I still had to go to the store to get some food for him. And uh, I threw in some, or I will throw in some peas, but he doesn't really like that. So, tomorrow he will get some, oh he likes the pellets. Oh, this is what he will eat. But, you know, I like to uh, spoil them, spoil, spoil him, sorry. With some nice carrots or peaches or, well, mandarin. Everything orange. <laughs> oh, and he loves his spinach. But, then again, if I put spinach in, the water gets very murky. So, I will do that before I do a water change. And, um, so not today. There's some mandarin, but he didn't look interested oh look at them don't they look like the two from the muppet show i don't watch the muppet show but with the, both with the two cigars in their mouth do they even have cigars in their mouth well they look grumpy on the balcony those two well whatever <laughs> i thought it was funny the jaguar cichlids are on the right and they are if you can see it, 
at the back, because there are a lot of Jaguar cichlids in here, I think they have their breeding spot over there, because they are almost all hanging out over there and not coming to the front that much. The Jana, she's looking great. And because uh, she, he, she, she, he, I don't know, doesn't have the nibbled fins, I thought she would be the one who was biting everybody. But I think she's too big and he doesn't dare bullying her, him, her, him, whatever. So I think that's why she doesn't have any fins nibbled. Another jaguar with some fish in his mouth. Oh, the giant gourami still asking me for something else. You will get it soon. You will get it soon. And the oh, this is the big clown knife. And uh, he or she only has four, five spots. But she has a heart. Can you see it? Love it. Love it, love it. Um... But the big cichlid um, also has some nibbled fins. But that's because of the fighting. And what I saw... I will see if I can film it. Two of the Surinamesis Geo... They will fight him together. And it's funny because those two are two males. Not even a f male and a female. And they will just... Yeah, they, they will, they will go after him together. But he's big, and he is strong. But until I don't see really, really uh, fish being harmed, I will, um, I will let, let it as it is. And um, if there's really um, fish being really, really harmed, I will, I will take him out. But it's it's also for just a period of time because there's no female and he will hopefully finally get tired of just having a pit. <laughs> oh look at this. The Jana is really large and now there's a Jaguar swimming next to it and then you can see the Jaguar is also big. I think the Jaguar is about 35, 40 centimeters, and the chana is just huge. And now the fire eel is also huge. If you look at the chana and the fire eel, he's a big boy. And they can get quite, quite large. Oh, if you can see, oh, you cannot see it really well. No, you can, he's gone. He's in the shuttles. Oh, there he is on the right side. Right height, <laughs> right side. Now you can see he's wearing his striped tuxedo. He's in warm mode. And again, the clown knife just having a peek if there are still some fish lying around. And as you can see, the water is already getting murky. But yeah, what can we do? Not feed them. <laughs> Right, right corner on the bottom. Did you see it? Well, this is not a really big fight, but that's it's a start. It's it's a start of a fight, and the geo no, well, the Surinamensis. You see this log uh, in front of his nose on the right side. He wants to breed over there, and I think this small one is the female. Oh, look at this Jana. Look at the mouth. Too bad I'm too far away. Otherwise you could see the, the, the big teeth. But he's... Uh, or she's just stretching his, <laughs> his mouth. And they, if you don't know it... They get air from uh, the top. And sometimes they burp. And he will burp right after. You will see. Look at this. 
There she goes. I think, yes. <laughs> so, fish can also burp. <laughs> Oscar is trying to catch some, but went underneath, I think, so he didn't, he didn't caught it. Everybody's just a little bit hanging around and chewing. So. <clears throat> so, how are you all uh, doing? Have you been sick or <laughs> just uh, feeling great? I wish it was summer. I don't like the winter time. I'm a tropical girl, I'm from the Seychelles, and I really don't like winter time. But well, I live in the Netherlands right now, and uh, it's winter. It's winter. Again, I really... He has uh, turned off the red color, the tilapia, but he's still, still very, very beautiful. I uh, really, really like this fish and I don't see many people with this fish but I already said that in a previous video and uh, I think I only had one response on somebody who told me he also had one or used to have one. Oh, look at the right yeah they are fighting around these logs but his pit is on the right but at the back way at the back so you could say well you go right in the back and you stay at the front with the log <laughs> well it doesn't work like that as you can see Chana just cruising around and there's some flow here, but it was pointed a little bit upwards, and I will try to um, put it straight, because the fish really like to uh, play with it. As you can see, this jaguar, he wants to play in the, in the flow. So I always like, uh, like uh, uh, high flow. Do you say high flow? Large flow, a lot of flow <laughs> in my fish tanks because it keeps the fish busy so they can just uh, exercise. <laughs> yeah, it, I think uh, it works also uh, uh, to having less dominance and uh, because they, they just have something to do. <clears throat> All right. There's still some food floating around. <clears throat> I hope you like my fish. I like my fish. Oh, there's also a Jack Dempsey in front right now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And look at this fire eel. Wow. Isn't he a beast? <laughs> He's gorgeous though. I will make another video about the fire eel. He's a beast. And they are so gentle. I really love that about them. Have you ever touched an eel? They're so soft. <laughs> And slippery though. Yeah, big channel. And the Jack Dempsey's on the right. And I still, you know, this is such a large tank that um, I need to buy more lighting. So we don't have on the right side and on the left side these big, large, dark corners. Well, you know. But that's more for us, 
because the fish don't mind if it's dark. They don't. They don't care. And they also feel safe if it's dark. This Oscar on the right had always had shredded fins. He came in that way. Also love the colors on the three on the menses. Oh, you see? You see the flow? I think I'm trying to put it straight right now. And, um, well, after a good meal, why not just play around and have some fun in the yard? <laughs> Look at him. Happy fish. Happy, happy fish. And they are beautiful. And because, um, well, people ask, ask me, how come uh, they don't fight or kill <laughs> everything in the tank? And you have so many. I think because it's a larger school, there is not that much of the dominancy. And it's beautiful to have so many of them. And they were all rescues because what I also said earlier, if you have one, they probably be dominant towards every other fish. If you have two, they can be dominant towards each other and so on and so on. So I, um, with this large school, everything goes well. Nobody is really hurting each other, well, you know. In breeding season, breeding season, is there a season in the uh, aquarium world? Well, when they want to breed, they lit lock sometimes. But, well, that's, that's part of nature. Look at them. Beautiful. And there are still some at the back. One, two. Oh, you, can't, you cannot see them. But there are a lot of uh, jaguars. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Yes, I love them. And this one on the le left, he always had this weird mouth, like, um, kind of like a little bit of bucket lip. I don't know if you call it that way. I don't know, but <laughs> is it even a? Does it even exist? I don't know. But uh, he always had a weird lip. Under lip. Oh, my beautiful Guami. He is also such a gentle giant, this Karami. I really, really love him. And he's so personable. He really connects with you. Oh, he still has something uh, in his mouth. Burp, burp, burp. He also has a large mouth, though. It's funny how the, he turns off the red, but keeps on the blue. And for those who think it's sad, his fins are shredded, they will grow back and um, he will be fine. And I can't wait for better weather so they can have a large, they can go back in the, in the pond, in the rescue pond. And then everybody will have their large space. For now, winter time, well... Let's get cozy. <laughs> I think I'm almost gonna wrap this up. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed it. And as you can see, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up because the water is really getting murky by all the food debris and stuff like that. So, I want to wish you a very, very nice day. And if it's evening at your place, I hope you had a great day today. And, uh, and you're happy and love watching this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I see you soon in another video. Love you guys.
Bye bye. I'm gonna go back back to bed and um, hope I'll feel better tomorrow. Bye bye. Love you.